today topic is introduction of nutrition this we call as basic subject in the medical profession and it's very important and a very essential for the medical profession let me check the relationship of food with the body there is a wonderful relation of food with the body let me check what are the action of food within the body in that first uh, in the science food we call as a primary necessity of life because of here the first food molecule which we call as a protein protein is a first food molecule to help the beginning of the life in biochemistry the chemical name of the protein is a chon chon is the first molecule to formation of a living organism and the food is enter into the body and to excrete it within this process there are the several steps uh, which has to involved how the food is processing in the body let me check first in taking in taking of the food medically we called as ingestion then uh, food is breaking called as digestion and absorption assimilation biosynthesis catabolism and excretion in this total food process there are few organs which has to involve to breaking of the food and absorption assimilation and to excretion of the food in that majorly gi system is the main organ which is involving in the processing of the food and next is the liver and the blood and the kidney here you just remember the few organs which has to involved directly in the processing of the food those are gi system liver blood and the kidney let me check one by one how the gi system is involved in the gi system the intaking of the food should be by the gi system means especially by the mouth once the food is enter into the body it start the digestion the first digestion organ is mouth digestion is nothing but already we said that breaking of the food so breaking of the food in the body with the help of the enzyme that is called as a digestion first food is enter into the body and to digested and food is absorbed absorbed in the intestinal wall and food is assimilated means uh, the food is crossing from the intestinal wall into the blood capillaries that is the uh, assimilation and uh, the remaining wastage of the food uh, from the gi system it should eliminate it so here the gi system majorly participated in the intaking of the food that is the ingestion process and the digestion of the food that is the breaking process and absorption of the food and assimilation of the food and elimination of the food this is the gi organ which has to majorly participate in the processing of the food and the next organ is liver liver is majorly participate in metabolization metabolization is nothing but combination of anabolism and the catabolism and abolism means and means here you just remember a is a adding a is nothing but adding cat cat here cat is nothing but uh, cutting remember just close cut and add a for add c for cut here just remember that so anabolism is nothing but adding the food that process we called as biosynthesizing means uh, the simple food add as a complex food and here complex food breaking as a simple food in this two process we called as a metabolization after metabolization of the food some amount of the food especially carbohydrate are stored in the liver that is especially in the form of glycosides so later in class we should discuss what are the storage capacity of the liver and next organ is blood here blood we called as food courier because of here the blood is uh, carry the food and to reach uh, all the cells within the body that's why the blood we call as a food courier which is very helpful for the enter into the cell and next organ is kidney here the kidney is help for the balancing of the electrolytes especially minerals and the kidney will help for the excretion of the wastage which is releasing from the food especially minerals and uh, the balancing of the food within the body and the balancing of the electrolytes within the body we call as a internal balance that is the homeostasis here in this relation of the food and body there are the majorly gi system liver blood and kidney or major organ which has to help to processing of the food the next is 
diet so what is diet diet is nothing but it's a medical word in our language we call as a food menu so food menu in a medical language we call as diet diet is a special important to nourishing the body and to well balancing of the body in that there is a wonderful definition of the diet that is the kinds of food which is uh, the person or the animal or the community should eat in a habitually that is called as a diet so in the diet especially the best selected diet is very important best suitable diet and the best selected diet is very important because of the best suitable diet is help for the promoting of the growth and promoting of the good health in this process the diet selection should be by the trial and error so for example if we have to take a mother milk mother milk is only the choice of diet for the neonate because of mother milk is containing all essential nutrient which is help for the growth and development of newborn baby so here diet is nothing but a food whatever we have to selected the food that should be having all nutritional values to promoting a health and to improving the growth so that is called as diet and what is nutrient so here the nutrient is a latin word the nutrient is a latin word which means uh, nourishment here if the body is nourishing with the food that is called as a nutrient next uh, what is nutrition so nutrition is nothing but the science of food the science of food and its wonderful relation with the health that is called as a nutrition so if we have to define the nutrition nutrition is nothing but here the science of food and its a wonderful relation with the health that is called as a nutrition and the father of nutrition we called as a anthony lavoisier anthony lavoisier is a father of nutrition and he found the energy theory by the food how the energy is releasing how the energy is utilizing the body how the metabolism is processing in the body so the anthony lavoisier is a father of nutrition in our next class we should discuss in detail about the anthony lavoisier related with nutrition and remember that there are the 50 type of nutrient can be found in the body but only six major type we have to consider in that carbohydrate fat protein vitamins minerals and water so this six types are very important and essential to the body for nourishment in that one by one in detail in our next class we should discuss it's a nutrient and science what is the relation of nutrient with the science in the scientific language if we have to define the nutrient that is the food which has containing the several chemical substances which is help for the body that is called as a nutrient one more definition of the nutrient is the substance which is essential for the growth development and reproduction of a cell that is called as a nutrient in the scientific language there are the two different meaning can be found one is food containing several chemical substances that is the nutrient and one more definition is food substances which is essential for the growth development and the reproduction of a cell that is called as a nutrient nutrient tie into two types organic nutrient and inorganic nutrient nutrient organic complex of the nutrient is nothing but natural source organic complex of the nutrient is nothing but natural source inorganic is a artificial source here in the biochemical language or in biochemistry organic is nothing but if the nutrient is having c and h bond c and h bond in the biochemical language and in biochemistry organic is defined as if the nutrient is having carbon and hydrogen bond in that structure that is the organic nutrient in organic nutrient is nothing but here in the structure there is a absent of a carbon and hydrogen bond if the carbon and hydrogen bond is absent that is the inorganic in the biochemical or biochemistry language so organic is nothing but 
natural resource inorganic is nothing but artificial re resource and uh, nutrients are in the two types essential nutrient and non essential nutrient essential nutrient is nothing but the nutrient which is required in the food that is the essential means if we have to take the food uh, the nutrient should be included in the food uh, that is the essential nutrient for example in the essential nutrient vitamins so vitamins are essential nutrient because of here the vitamins are not synthesized in the body there is a compulsory to take in the form of food that is called as a essential nutrient essential nutrient means whatever the nutrient we should take in the form of food that is compulsory in the form of food that is called as a essential nutrient the main reason of essential nutrient is body cannot synthesizing such nutrient compulsory to take in the food that is essential nutrient next one is non essential non essential is nothing but here the body can synthesizing the body can synthesizing there is no requirement in the food there is not required a direct form of the food for example here the cholesterol cholesterol is a one of the non essential nutrient because of the body can synthesize it, especially the liver can synthesize it, 70 percent of the cholesterol within the body that's why there is no such requirement in the diet so that is the non essential nutrient few nutrients example uh, vitamin d vitamin d is synth synthesizing by the body by uv light so there is no requirement of vitamin d in the food such food we call as a non essential nutrient so non essential nutrient means body can synthesize it, not required in the food nutrient are majorly in two groups one is macronutrient another one is a micronutrient macronutrient is nothing but here bulk quantity of food we should take in the form of food that is called as a macronutrient macronutrient is nothing but bulk quantity or large size of the quantity if you have to take in the form of food that is called as a macronutrient as example here protein we should take a protein in the large quantity fat and carbohydrate so these are the macronutrient we have to take in the bulk quantity or the large quantity or the excess amount of the food that is called as a macronutrient and a micronutrient is nothing but small quantity means less require or small amount of the nutrient or the food we should take in the body that is called as a micronutrient macro means bulk quantity micro means small quantity and uh, classification of the nutrient uh, divided into the several types in that first uh, based on the origin origin or two types uh, animal origin and vegetable origin animal origin sources or milk meat egg fish cheese etc and the uh, vegetable origin sources or cereals pulses green leafy vegetables fruits and etc so like that whatever we have to take the food uh, food or in two types of origins one is animal origin and another one is vegetable origin and uh, based on the chemical nature the nutrient should be classified into several types in that protein fat carbohydrate vitamins and minerals one more nutrient is there that is the water here is water not a nutrient because of uh, water gives the zero energy so that's why we are not considering the nutrient but uh, in our classification we should consider water is a one of the nutrient molecule which is uh, essential for the maintaining of uh, all other nutrients and here next one is based on the function so based on the function uh, there are the different type of the function can be run the nutrient in that first energy energy giving food such called as carbohydrate and the fat so carbohydrate is a utilized energy source utilized energy source and fat is a stored energy source here fat is a stored energy source carbohydrate is a utilized energy source means whatever food we have to eat 
that should be utilized in the form of food. That means uh, carbohydrate, whatever we have to eat uh, in the body, that should be utilized uh, directly and to provide the energy. Such diet called as a carbohydrate. And the fat is a stored carbohydrate, means uh, it should be held for the storage of the carbohydrate. Later in detail, we should discuss. And uh, protective food, protective foods are vitamins and the minerals. Vitamins and the minerals are help for the protection of the body, especially act as a coenzymes for the breaking process and neutralizing of the body, especially we call as a homeostasis mechanism. So, those food we call as a protective food. Protective food example are vitamins and minerals and body building food. Lastly, body building food which we call as a body repair food. Here, the reproduction or recorrection or repairing food we call as a protein. Protein we call as a reproduction or repairing food. So, like that energy giving food, protective food, body building food. If you are preparing the competitive exam, what is your next step? You should remember that you should prepare two paragraph notes from the each point what we have to discuss and remember that to practice MCQs we have to providing the link in the description and you just discuss with your friends and you just uh, revision monthly. Thank you for watching this channel and uh, subscribe the channel and to download our mobile app. Thank you. Thank you for watching.